All right, how's it going, everybody? Back with a new video again. And uh, this time, uh, I actually got some promo packs, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I had five, gave two to a friend, and he opened up a chicken, a wedding dress I didn't know, but then he opened up an Alteria Lancer, which was really cool from Fake Grand Order. And speaking of that, we have a Fake Grand Order box right here. And uh, I know the first uh, video I didn't really know a whole lot of people. This one's gonna be a lot different. I play this game all the time and probably a lot more than I should. Uh, so we have Morgan on the front. We have Castoria. Uh, I've pulled the uh, MR of her before. We have a uh, Vertra, Morgan, Yanguife, and the National Treasure. Uh, that's cool. They have a lot of the JP stuff too. So here's Mash. Um, but uh, here's Nero Claus, and here's the uh, Ibaraki Doji Saber. E Shooting Doji Saber, what am I talking about? I had a brain fart. But it's cool, yeah. Um, and that's one of the cards I would really want right there. Uh, the Musashi and uh, the Abigail Williams is pretty nice. Then they have the Prisma Ilya. But all right, first let's get into these promo packs. So these are like special with an order that you get. like, uh, And they are... Wow, what is that? That is extremely cool. They all have this PR. They're like a promo rare. I don't know if they're actually platinum rare or if it stands for like promo rare. Um, but you only get, I think, this rarity in these random packs. And uh, when you get them, I don't think they... I think they do belong to sets, but they don't necessarily know what they're giving you and what set it's going to be from when you get it. Oh, speaking though, that's Fate Grand Order right there, right? That has got to be... Yeah, obviously, they got the Saber down there. That is salt. That is saber altar. That is awesome, dude. And look, that's perfect. They have her with the fries and the cheeseburgers. That's awesome, dude. That's really cool. That one is definitely a keeper. Kind of goes with the whoa. Oh, that's a demon slayer, right? So that's what I'm saying. They don't really, <laughs> you don't really know what set it's gonna be from. That one's from Demon Slayer. One was from Fate, and the other one's who knows. But that's pretty sick. Well, let's go ahead and get into opening this box. And this box actually came in extremely good shape. Sometimes it's not exactly the case. Um, but this one came in quite nice until I uh, just obliterated it just then. And uh, this one's 20 packs. I think you get an SSR in every pack except for the packs that you end up getting um, the MR and the PTR. I think you get one, one MR and one PTR uh, per per box. Look, starting out with the Ushi Summer. Oh yeah, dude, Archer of Inferno. Ooh, that's my bay right there, Musashi, dude. Oh my god, Berserker, so nice. Ugh, Marie Antoinette. So this is Bradamante. I think in all three boxes I have done. I want to say that I have gotten a Bradamante in every one of them. Got Nero Summer. BB. That's the BB I like. I like the light skin, man. Got a thing for that. And I have not gotten an Ibaraki Doji. I've gotten the Saber a lot, but not the Assassin. And Shooting Doji. I don't know why I keep saying Ibaraki Doji. Shooting Doji, which is cool because like I said I've only gotten the Shooting Doji Saber, so I'm actually really excited about getting that one. But the first two I had had very similar SSRs, so it's nice to see that I already have one different. I'm hoping that trend continues. Skyhawk, oh yeah, dude, love it. That's pretty cool. It's the Foreigner one, right? Yeah, the Foreigner one. Then we have, oh, dude, you know you got to love some Neato Chris, man. And there's a, that's the uh, Mage Girl, the one that you got as a uh, uh, yeah, Welfare. And another Bradamante. Bradamante apparently loves me too much, man, even though she didn't come to me on Banner. Wild. Now she's just haunting me through packs of cards. Another Nero Summer. Another BB. This is looking rather familiar. Oh, well, that's different and lovely. Saber Lily and Cleopatra. I think she's another one that I I want to say I've gotten a Cleopatra in every 
one of them I've opened. All right, there is a Jalter Berserker, is the welfare you got a while back. And there is the Rider Altar. Got a little Medusa. And there's the National Treasure herself. Pretty cool. Very nice art. All right, I remember opening this and being like, okay, dude. Raise your hand if you remember Fran being that stacked, because I definitely do not. That's cool. It makes me think of the Piglet song. Piglet song she was singing in the last, the, uh, the last event. That's pretty right there. Oh, Tomomo Summer, dude. Gotta love some Tomomo Summer. And there's a John Day Arc Summer. I cannot stand this person. It is a summoning curse for me. And then we have Saka Behime. I have noticed that a lot of the like people like the Saka Behime, the Cleopatra's, you tend to get at least one in every box. Oh, that's cool. This is a rare I actually didn't get too many of so far. So that's pretty cool. Oh, dude, the Gorgon's super sick. And, ah, oh, man, no Francis Drake, who I was looking for. Still a pretty card, although I'm not going to lie. If you've watched Fate Apocrypha, this might be someone you don't like. Atlante. Very pretty looking card, though. Very pretty looking card. Uh, Bunny Arthur. It's pretty nice. Uh, dude, the Ishtar Summer. Gotta love some Ishtar. Salter. Dude, I actually love this character. And, hey, we did get another Morgan, though. And that is awesome, because Morgan is very pretty, but also very badass. Good character. Their Ibaraki Doji on the sucking on the ice pot, man. Looking very pretty. And we have the giant daughter. That's what my friend calls her. He definitely wailed massively to try to get her in P5. Don't ask him how it went. <laughs> he might be sad. Ah, Morgid. And okay, the Soji. It's cool. I have not gotten her yet. That's cool, man. The alter ego with the polar bear. I don't remember. I don't think I summoned for her. But she's basically just like uh, the alter ego, like Ilya or something. So my buddy was all for that. Ugh. God, I've gotten one of her in every box. Look at the the gut. Oh, I just took a little peek. I saw you. She, she what are you living in my gut for? Oh. She doesn't drink off of her, you know, rack. She uses her gut instincts to drink. Another Nero Claudius at the front. Summer BB. That has been a thing I think we've gotten multiple times. Ah, oh, love Tom and Mo Cat. And... Let's do that real quick. <laughs> Chloe von Einsberg. I have not gotten the Charizard. And yes, I said Charizard. His name is actually Shirazad. And she's one of the people you do not want to get cucked by. She's kind of buns and very not uh, applicable in the game. Oh, uh, there's the Yang Guifei. Cool. That is nice. I actually recently got Yang with Fate when the banner came up with her on it. I mean, look. Very pretty. Very pretty card. So a very pretty character. So that's nice. I've gotten at least four different ones that I have not gotten yet. And that means a lot to me after opening two boxes where they're mostly the same. And here's another one I've gotten, I think, in every box. 
It is the Mama Raiko. Another Tom Will Lancer. Number. I think a lot of these at the beginning end up being the same. And Hokusai, the other foreigner. What do we have here? I think that's uh, the same as well. And we have Meb. That's cool. Uh, if you can see that, it's the little mini Koo. Oh, that's great. It's the little tiny Koo Hulan Berserker. That's nice. The poor guy has to put up with her all the time. He's definitely not a fan of having to do that. Uh, Benny Emma. I had to think about it for a second. Definitely gotten one of those in every box as well. All right, I have two packs left. So one of them has to, pretty sure it's guaranteed an MR. So one of them has to be the MR. Hopefully one of them is the Virtue card. Been wanting her for so long. So honestly, the main reason I started buying these boxes is I really wanted her. And uh, later I found out Drake was a PTR. And it's a Skahawk. That's actually cool. You got Skahawk. You got Koo right there, man. That's pretty dope. Oh, and uh, is that the bunny outfit? Yep, that's the bunny outfit up top. That is actually quite nice. So, as I said, I was pretty sure you get an MR in the PTR. So the PTR was Atlanta, and the MR was Skyhawk. Now let's see if we can get the elusive SSR. Virtria! Oh! Oh, it was the last pack. Oh, man. That, that is the best thing ever. When the last pack comes in clutch. Look at that. Look how cute she is, man. She's a fierce dragon lady, though. Man, that is an awesome. After three boxes, finally. Sorry, I'm just ex too ecstatic about that. That has taken far too long. So to recap... Here's like the PRs we got at the beginning for the promo packs, which is pretty cool. Then, ah, oh, finally got the Virtria. The Skyhawk, Master Rare. Benny Emma, Meb, Hokusai, Raikou, Guafe, Charizard, Stomach, Polar Bear, Giant Daughter, The Morgan, Alante, Osaka Behime. I cannot remember her name to save my life. The National Treasure, Cleopatra, and the Double Bradamante, and the Shooting Doji. Finally said it correct the first time. So definitely got some variety this time. So that's great. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. Definitely recommend this one. I mean, if you like Fate Grand Order, you're going to have a great time opening this box. Um, and uh, even if you're not familiar with it, it's still really fun to open, and the art on the cards is fantastic. So I appreciate y'all watching, and until next time.